Today we're taking a look at some of the sporting programs that Camp Australia provides, so let's have a chat with the coaches and find out what it's all about. from Camp Australia and I've just been checking out the Aussie Rules football game going on behind us. Tell me a little bit about how the program's set up for the football. Uh, the program's for all ages, it's boys and girls of course and it's run with, uh, we do clinics throughout the day learning different skills and about the game, umpiring etc. And then in the afternoon we put that all in action and play a game. That's great. Now I notice that you've got the younger kids at one end and the older kids at the other end. What ages can play and tell me a bit about that. Well in the afternoon when we play the game, the young kids love to join in with the older kids and have them on the team. So we'll have them all playing on the same ground, but we'll corner off a section of the ground where the young kids can play, but the older kids aren't allowed in that area. So. They're all up one end, the other's up the other end, but they play on the same team. Of course, a little bit safer for the little ones. Yeah, lines. yep. Um, and now, how long does a program run for each day? Well, they go for three days, the camps, and they run from nine to three. Yep. Okay, and there's camps in the school holidays and in each of the weeks. Fantastic. Now, um, food, is it provided? Do they bring their own morning tea and snacks? Or? The morning tea and afternoon tea is provided with Uncle Toby's snacks, um, healthy eating, because of course we like to promote the healthy eating for the kids. Absolutely. I'm here with Pam who's about to take me through the finer points of archery. Now tell me all about kid friendly archery. Well it's obviously a, it's a very dangerous uh, thing to do, especially with children who, uh, who might get a bit exuberant uh, at times. What we try and do is we do do a very uh, thorough safety demonstration first with uh, things like children not walking in front of the, uh, the people who are shooting arrows, obviously. Absolutely. Uh, we have signals that uh, let the kids know when they can uh, go and collect their arrows. And uh, obviously we've got to keep the kids uh, active and entertained when they're not actually participating. So. Definitely. Now what ages are the kids able to do the archery? Look, we've got kids here who are six, seven, eight years old right through to about 13, 14. There's no age limit as such, we, uh, we try and cater for all, uh, all age groups obviously and uh, obviously modify the, uh, the activities to suit those age groups. So modifying, uh, so the kids' arrows and, and I noticed that the, the targets are a lot closer. Yeah, we bring the kids forward. The, 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 the bows themselves are, uh, are all a standard size but uh, they do have a fair bit of slack in them so they're not, uh, they're not competition uh, bows. You might see in the Olympics, they are, uh, they are kid friendly and uh, the kids are certainly able to do those. As you can see behind us, they're uh, having a great go. And you provide all the, the equipment? Uh, we do. If we haven't got it uh, with our company, we certainly provide that for the kids uh, at, at no cost at all, and uh, it comes straight through there. So Well organised. It certainly is. Thank you very much, My pleasure, guys. Tell us a bit about the lacrosse program here. So first up, what have we got behind us? Behind us we've got age group kids from 11 through to about 13. Yeah. And today we've gone through just a few skills, cradling, um, passing, shooting. We're about to get stuck into a game after this. Fantastic. Now, do you have to have already played lacrosse? Oh, no. No, no not so at all. Yeah. a beginner? As you start off with soft cross, and then hopefully we get a couple of these kids into clubs, and hopefully they'll become play for Australia and Victoria and all that sort of stuff. Fantastic. Now, do they need their own equipment or do you provide No, we that? provide all the equipment. As you can see, we give them balls, sticks, um, and we provide smaller goals for the day. Fantastic. Well. Now, I've noticed we've got all boys behind us, but you do tell me the girls play as yeah, well? Yeah, girls. We had a girls group this morning, so, um, but unfortunately, this group's all full of boys. So. <laughs> now, I see the little goals, so it's obviously a junior version yeah, of lacrosse. Um, the bigger goals, the more the reason is we can't fit them in. They're about six by six mm, foot, okay. so they're a bit bigger. <laughs> So yeah, we just bring the smaller version in to get started, it's a bit easier for them. Yeah, great way to learn the game. Yeah. Fantastic, thank you very much. Alright, no problem. 